Ohio voters approve issue one making abortion access and reproductive rights part of the state constitution. It only took a few hours after the polls closed to call it and even the early returns showed support was heading that way if you were watching the numbers come in. Now we saw the momentum building up to this point since last year. Here to weigh in on how the pro issue one push reached victory. We are bringing in the director of the Bliss Institute of Applied Politics at the University of Akron, Cherie Strawn. Thank you so much for taking the time. Thank you. I'm happy to be here. So issue one passed pretty close to the Michigan ballot issue on abortion that passed by a similar amount in 2022. What do you think gave issue one the momentum here in Ohio? Broadly, the general public had a different consensus on access to abortion and reproductive care uh, than the sentiments of the Supreme Court. Um, when that decision was handed down, Alito said this should go back to the states, um, and that's what people have been doing. What do you think worked in terms of their campaign and what didn't work for those against issue one? Do you think that maybe they didn't put enough resources into it? Well, I, I think that what worked um, for th the supporters of reproductive rights was they built an incredibly um, powerful grassroots um, get out the vote organizing campaign. Um, it was also really clear that any confusion with the ballot language or any confusion with switching the vote from from no in August to yes in September um, was clearly communicated to the public. Um, those things were clearly articulated. Um, even though there was potential for confusion, most voters uh, when they were polled or when they went through exit polls said that they understood the issue and that it had gotten adequate attention. Um, and and so uh, what failed on the other side um, is it's possibly just that the messaging was wrong, um, that many people do actually support access to some form of reproductive care, some form of access to abortion. Um, there's been public opinion polling for decades that showed that Americans for the most part supported access to that sort of reproductive care, even though they wanted it to be rare and didn't mind some limitation. Now, how about the pro-abortion advocates? How will they use issue one and the victory here in Ohio in other states? And do you think that'll have a lot of play and play a big role in 2024? I do. I think, I think P Democrats in particular were watching Ohio to see whether this was a bellwether on abortion. The thing about the, um, the Ohio initiative was that was different is that we were the first red state to, um, uh, to have a ballot initiative to enshrine access to reproductive care and abortion in the Constitution. Um, the other red states where they um, rejected um, uh, changes to the Constitution, they were trying to embed restrictions, right? Embed abortion uh, restrictions into the Constitution. So in places like Kansas and Montana and Kentucky, um, it was just holding the line, not enshrining access. So the places that it successfully enshrined access were places like California and Michigan, which are either blue or purple. So I think the success in Ohio will give Democrats more confidence in making this a major issue in 2024. I think they'll see and think that it has traction. Yeah, well, we'll see which states might come up next. Really appreciate you joining us. Thank you so much for your time. Absolutely.